Good morning everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video, your girl Aurelie here. Um, in today's video I'm going to be recording my top tips to deal with binge eating. We're going to go straight into the video with tip number one which is try to eat breakfast. Um, the reason being is uh, people who skip breakfast tend to build up you know, hunger throughout the day and that can then lead to binge eating later on in the day. So um, yeah, try to eat breakfast because it means that you are fueling your body earlier in the day, you are giving your body the food that it needs and then you are less likely to binge later on in the day. In terms of what I'm having for breakfast, um, I like to have breakfast cereals because it's really easy and quick to make. I don't personally have a very big appetite in the morning and I know lots of people don't really feel that hungry in the morning and their hunger and appetite tends to build up later on in the day um, but I would say try to eat anyway even if you're not super hungry try to eat something small just so you're not building up that hunger uh, during the morning which then can lead to binge eating later on so you can eat whatever you <laughs> like really in the morning um, but I tend to go for things that are really really quick um, and a small amount um, because it's it's just easier and it's quicker and I don't have a appetite to eat a bigger more substantial breakfast in the morning. I'm also really um, poor on time in the morning. Like I eat my breakfast really quickly and then I like to exercise uh, before going to work as well. So I don't have a lot of time, which is why the breakfast cereals work really well for me. Okay, so I don't have a microphone, so I hope you can hear me okay. The camera is quite far from me. But anyway, I am currently ready to head to the gym, but before I go, I'm going to make myself a snack because I know I'm going to be hungry when I get back from the gym. Um, so yeah, and this brings us to tip number two. If you do any kind of exercise, especially if you do, you know, intense exercise like um, resistance training or a lot of cardio, make sure that you fuel your body adequately because exercise can, especially intense exercise, can increase your hunger and can increase your appetite. And remember, when you are exercising, you are that requires a lot of energy. And a lot of people, women especially, grossly underestimate how much energy and how much food they need. So if you do exercise and if you're struggling with binge eating, you do need to make sure you're fueling adequately. And carbohydrates and sugars are our body's preferred source of fuel. Yep, I'm pretty much ready to head to the gym. My gym bag actually lives permanently in my car so let's go welcome to my party we're just getting started a life is a dream or a nightmare starring hand me a drink because i think i'm going all in get me a shrink Catch me when I'm falling Cover up my scars Flip the handlebars Crashing in my car Wake up in a bar I'll be a superstar Just on my avatar This world is so bizarre Empty out the reservoir Yeah I'm taking six shots Yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop When I'm feeling this So I'm back home From the gym And I've Just about to eat My snack so I've added some other green grapes and I've added some granola as well. So this is a decent sized snack and I'm actually quite hungry right now. And it's also 11 o'clock here. So for me that's kind of like the perfect time to be eating this snack. Sometimes 
and you might need to loosen up those restrictions a little bit and you know start demonizing food first of all and allowing yourself to just enjoy food because the more you restrict the more you're going to binge take this for example i've had this in my fridge for two nights now and i haven't had this i don't i no longer feel the urge to to binge and just eat everything inside because i have given myself permission to just eat anything that i want it this didn't happen overnight but it took a long time but i did get there i have plenty of foods in my fridge in my pantry foods that i've previously restricted and limited that now i can have in my pantry and i don't binge on those foods and that's because i no longer feel those cravings because I've given myself permission and I've basically removed all these restrictions that I used to have. Okay. I'm going to finish this and then I'm heading out to the botanical gardens today.